Welcome to Mornings in the Lark. Sorry I was away for a little bit. Um, had some things I had to take care of, but hey, welcome to Mornings in the Lark. Skylark Custom. All right, scripture today. Psalm 62, verse 1. I waited patiently before God, for my victory comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress, where I never will be shaken. And I was um, reading that scripture this morning, I thought... In light of everything that's going on in the East Coast, that huge storm and just all the devastation that's taking place, I, what would you even say in a situation like that? I mean, I mean, your car has got water all the way up to the ceiling. I, I'm seeing homes and that are just devastating fires, and our prayers are with you guys. I, I can't even imagine. I was praying for you guys this morning. Um, stay strong. Uh, we're feeling the effects of it here in the in the Midwest, but in light of this scripture. There are times in our life when we we can't do anything, we can't say anything. It's just like we're, we're overwhelmed. And this scripture, when I read it, I thought to myself, you know what? Sometimes it's good just to be quiet before God and not even say anything except for you, God, or you're my fortress. I'm putting all my trust in you, and you're going to have to pull me through this, and I will not be shaken. And just have that in your heart and standing quietly before the Lord. And Psalm 62, verse 1, is such a powerful scripture. If you're going through something today, if you feel overwhelmed, just read that over and over and over today. Let it, let it just kind of sink into your heart because there are times, each one of us have been in times, me personally, where you're just overwhelmed. You can't fix it. It's, it could be a doctor's report financial report it could be uh, something with work and it's it's out of your hands but the one thing that you can do is say you know what God I'm placing this in your hands I'm placing my life in your hands and you alone in my fortress I trust you and that as Christians that is a one thing that will be consistent for us is um, the love of the Father for us. It's consistent. It never changes. It never wavers. And we can trust Him. And so I just want to encourage you today. Place yourself in His hands. And I'll reread the scripture. Psalm 62, verse 1. I waited quietly before God. My victory comes from Him. He alone is my rock, my salvation, my fortress, where I will never be shaken. When life tries to shake us to our core, hold on. Hold on to the one thing that doesn't change. And that's your Heavenly Father. Hey, this is Eric, Sean, coming to you from the Lark, Skylark Custom. Hey, guys, stay strong. And uh, love you guys. And our prayers are with you out in the East Coast. Guys, be strong. I'm out.